Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Um, first, I apologize. I haven't been able to do a video in a couple of weeks. Um, been crazy busy with with work and um, taking care of the dogs in the house and getting used to my husband's new work schedule, as well as orders and teaching classes and um, getting stuff ready for my sister's new office. She's opening up a practice in Florida, so getting stuff ready for her there. And just, just super, super busy, but that is no reason for me to neglect you. And I apologize, um, that I have been, um, I've also kind of been doing some reflection about where I want my art to go. I do have a little confession to make. Um, so if you would like to hear that, go ahead and continue listening. If you don't want to hear it, if you don't care, and that's perfectly fine, go ahead and skip to the uh, time below. But I did want to say, um... I've been trying to decide which direction I wanted to go with my YouTube channel and with my art and all of that because y'all are so inundated with with so many YouTube channels out there that are doing this and and I'm trying to trying to find where I belong in there um, because there are so many women out there that are way more talented than, than me. Y'all know who they are. Um, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, so anyways, just, just trying to figure out where I wanted to go. And, and, you know, as you know, I, I am a strong Christian. I have a strong faith. You know, my husband is a youth pastor. My father-in-law is a pastor. My great grandfather was a pastor. So, and, and, you know, I grew up in the church and grew up with a very, very faith-based family. And, and I, I've come to the conclusion and, and this is something I've known all along. Y'all know I'm not, not shy about my faith and I'm never going to hide it or, or stop sharing my faith for the sake of subscribers. That's just not going to happen. But I do feel that I have gotten away from what God gifted me with. And I think that God gave me this talent and he blessed my hands, um, the creativeness and of my hands to, to spread his word. And I believe I've gotten away from that. And, and I'm going to get back to it. And so I'm going to start a scripture series and we're going to do a painting and then we're going to put a scripture on it in the second video. And, and I really want to get back to sharing the word of God because I have subscribers. I've been extremely blessed to have subscribers literally all over the world. And, and there is no better platform than what I currently have in front of me to, to be able to share the word of God. And so you know, I had somebody that, that messaged me one time after I did a Batman, you know, piece of art and says, how can you claim to be a Christian when you do stuff like this? And my response to that is, is one, as a Christian, I'm allowed to like things outside that are not faith-based. That's just crazy to me that people think that as a Christian, the only thing that you can watch are Christian movies and the only thing that you can read is the Bible. And that, that's just insane. We are allowed to like things outside of it. The thing where the, the line starts getting askew and where you start stepping back from your faith is when you start worshiping that, whenever that becomes every piece of your life, that's when it becomes a problem, not when it's something that you find entertainment in. Now, I will say that there are places that my husband and I do draw the line. We do not watch horror movies. We do not watch anything that is demonic. Um, we, we, we don't see it in the theaters. We definitely don't bring it into our home. And so there, there is a line there. And so my res other response to, to that is, what if there is somebody on the other side of the world, a young kid who was not raised in a faith-based family, who's having so much turmoil in their lives, that they looked for something Batman, because that's what they worship. That's, that's what they love. That's what they want. They want to do nothing but Batman. They were looking for something of Batman on YouTube. And they found my video. They watched my video. They liked it. They're like, you know what? I'm going to watch another one of her videos. And they ended up finding a video where I, I did something with scripture. And that scripture touched their hearts. It met them where they were at that time. And it touched their hearts. And it, it gave them hope. And it gave them a reason to live, say. You know, and, and it brought them into the word of God. And they ended up getting saved. And then they were able to go out and be like, you know what? This, this, this saved me that day. And it's not me. I didn't do it. It was what God put on my heart and me being an obedient servant to God did what he told me to do. And that one act, that one thing that I did brought that young person 
into the family of God. And then that one person is able to go out and now spread the word to people and their friends who may have never heard it and may have never heard it from anybody else but them. That is why I do this. That is why I, I am going to stand strong in my faith and I am going to follow what God has told me to do. And that is exactly what I'm doing right now is, is to, to stand on my conviction and to share the word of God and to share his love. Because as Christians, we are called to love everybody. It is not our job to to judge that that is not our job our job is is to spread the word of god and to love everybody and meet everybody where they're at and so that's what we're going to do um so that is kind of where we are going with this today is february 29th um of 2020 and we um i say we because i consider all of you that that are part of my channel and part of this and part of my life as, as family. And we are going to get back to our faith and we are going to get back to spreading the word of God. And, um, so I just, I just wanted to be honest with y'all about that, about where I want to go with my art and where I want to go with my channel. Um, I am no longer going to hear what God has to say and be like, you know what? I think I have a better idea and I'm going to do this today. I'm not going to do that anymore. If God puts it on my heart, then that's what's going to happen. And um, because if it's putting it on my heart, he's doing it for a reason. Because I either need to hear it or somebody else out there needs to hear it. And so that's that's where we're going with this. So thank you all for listening to my little confession and, and semi-soapbox. I apologize if I started getting a little soapboxy. But um, but yeah, so that's that's the way I feel. And so we are going to to move on and, and get back to being a, a faith-based YouTube channel that, that spreads the love and the word of God. So, okay, we're going to move on. All right. So we are going to do this painting. It is an 18 by 24 level three artist loft canvas. We are going to do a Dutch pour. Um, this is going to be a scripture painting. Um, if you listen to my confession earlier, you will know the direction that we are moving. Um, if you didn't, that's fine. And um, I'm going to tell you real quick the direction we're moving. So that is going to be, um, this is going to be a scripture painting. Lord put it on my heart. Um, all I keep hearing in my head and in my heart is the heavens declare, the heavens declare, the heavens declare. So we are going to do Psalm 19.1. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. So we are going to, to do a painting that is going to, what I, in my mind, are the colors of heaven. And, um, and then once it's dried in part two, we are going to put the scripture on it and then we will seal it all together. So our colors today, um, are, of course, it's just paint and water because we are doing a Dutch pour. Um, a couple reasons we're doing a Dutch pour. One, I'm out of Floetrol. And I haven't gone to the store. And two, this is what God told me to do. Um, because in my mind, this is the result that I need to get. And that's with a Dutch pour. So we are going to do, it's going to be a white background. So the Deco Art Americana Snow Titanium White is what our canvas was prepped with. It is also the white that we are going to flood with. I did add a little bit of silver. And I don't know where it went. I think I put it away because I'm crazy. Nope, oh, that's my ivory. That's my pearl. Oh, it's right in front of me. Ah. Okay, so I did add just a little bit of the Decor Americana Decor Metallics Sterling Silver, all Americana products, or Americana Deco Art um, products, and they're all metallics, which is kind of dangerous because metallics have a tendency to to warp and break and separate so hopefully that's not going to happen we'll see what happens but it is uh the deco art americana snow titanium white and then it is the sterling silver it's a lot of paint um especially when you're doing dutch pours you are using a lot of paint but i kind of think it offsets itself because you're not using floetrol which itself costs money so um, 
I want to say it was um, 11 ounces of paint of white, of the Snow Titanium White. I did about one ounce of the Deco Art Americana Decor Metallic Sterling Silver. And I want to say it was about three ounces of water um, to give us the nice thin consistency that we needed for our white. Um, again, don't worry about writing these down. Everything is down in the description. All right, so we are using Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics Garnet. All of these are um, one ounce of paint and uh, 0.3 ounces of water. So that's all of all of these other colors. And then we have got the um, Americana Decor Metallics Bronze. We've got the Rose Gold. Ivory Pearl. And 24 karat gold. So all of them are uh, decor or deco art metallics. Um, one ounce of paint. Let me put these away real quick. And 0.3 ounces of water. All right. We are going to flood the canvas and then we are going to do, I, I'm calling it kind of a high. Well, no, I think we're just going to, we're going to go straight down the middle. I kind of want it ha to have that that definition and separation. And then depending on how it dries, we'll either do the scripture um, horizontal or vertical. I'm not sure which one yet. It, it really depends on how it dries and what it looks like when it dries. Um, and I think that's it. So the the blow dryer I use is the Deco Art. Um, the Deco Art. I've lost my mind. It is the uh, Con Air Cord Keeper 1875. Lowest heat setting, highest um, air pressure. I use the cool button. Uh, link is down in the description to get these on Amazon. I got mine at Target. Just make sure that when you get your blow dryer, um, it does have this attachment that's going to help funnel the air so you can get a good, um, get underneath the paint and, and get it moving. And also I've had some people ask about the music that you're going to hear. And that is, I have a subscription. I pay a, a monthly subscription to Epidemic Sounds. I'm not sponsored by them. I just use them. Um, I really like their music selection. It is royalty free music. And I just either search for like cello music or orchestra or piano. Um, I used to play the cello. And so I love cello music. I was a cellist for a while. And, um, I love the orchestra. I can just sit and listen to an orchestra all day. So that's what the, where the music is from. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking. I'll put a link down in the description to Epidemic Sounds. But again, I'm not sponsored by them. I just I just use their music platform um, for my videos. All right, I think that is everything. We are going to go ahead and get started.
All right, we are gonna leave it just like that. Um, I don't like this little section right here, but I'm afraid if I mess with it, um, then it's gonna get messed up. So we are gonna leave it just like that. Um, I really, really like it. I like all the different, you know, lighter tones, the bronzes and the golds, but then that that garnet just kind of, kind of pops through. Um, and as you know, in the Bible, um, God's words are in red. So um, I like how they're just kind of coming through all of the other, basically the voices and of the angels and all of that kind of stuff. So we are going to leave it just like that. Um, thank you very much for watching part one, part two. We will be um, sealing this up, putting the vinyl on it, and and then putting the final top coat on it. But um, yeah, so hopefully it will dry okay. We will see if we get any cracks or any of that kind of stuff. But right now we are going to leave it where it's at. So thank you very much for watching. Down in the description, uh, links to my Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, as well as my two websites. Guidedbyfaithdesigns.net is where you are going to find my paintings, um, scripture paintings, and my vinyls. Guidedbyfaithdesigns.com is where you're going to find all of my superhero and sublimation stuff. Tumblers, mugs, um, pretty soon um, tote bags. I've taught myself how to sew and sew um, and sew. Haha, <laughs> doing that kind of stuff. Now I don't want to say the word sew. Um, all kinds of new stuff. So go check those out. Don't forget to like, hit the uh, subscribe to my channel. Hit the little notification button so you will be notified when I have new videos coming. I'm going to try and do at least a video every Saturday morning and then hopefully some stuff throughout the week. So look forward to that. Um, again, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope everybody has a wonderful and blessed day. And as always, God bless.